So which business credit cards do not report to your personal credit? It's a popular misconception out there that every business card will report to your personal credit. It's also a popular misconception that your personal credit will not be pulled if you're applying for business credit. video, I'm going to give you the lowdown on business credit cards and we'll talk about qualification for business credit cards. Then we'll dig into the pros and cons of using business credit cards and I'll give you solid reasons why business owners should actually own business credit cards. And then we'll look at business credit cards that do not report to your personal credit. My clients ask me all the time, the ones that are entrepreneurs and own businesses, which is actually a large portion of them, how do I get business credit cards and how do I get higher limits? One of the main reasons that using business credit can be beneficial is because you're smoothing out your cash flow. So you have more cash flow that you can use to pay your bills, to pay your rent, to pay anything that needs to be paid for in your business. Another thing that business credit cards are used for is to cover unexpected expenses. Those unexpected expenses that come up that you cannot budget for, business credit cards are good for those situations. What's shocking is that most business owners believe they will not qualify for a business credit card. They believe this because they haven't been in business very long, they don't have business credit, um, and actually, they don't know where to look for to get a business credit card. Now, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to have a business that has been in operation for a very long time. You do not even have to have business credit to get a business credit card. And I'm a prime example. When I first started my first business, I got my first $40,000 limit business credit card and I had no business credit profile. The reason that was possible is because I had excellent personal credit. Now, mind you, 99% of all business credit cards out there are going to want you to have good to excellent credit before they're going to issue you a business credit card. In fact, when I first got my very first business credit card, I didn't have established credit at all on the business side of things. It was done solely based on my personal credit. Now, many of you might be saying, hey, well, I don't want to personally guarantee any credit card for my business. The reality is, is that 99.9% .9 of all business credit cards are gonna require a personal guarantee from the business owner. There are many reasons that a business credit card may make sense for you. The first being financial flexibility, meaning that you're gonna have a greater amount of cash flow to help you deal with all the business expenses that you have, including payroll and everything else. Another reason that a business credit card may make sense for you is because they offer extraordinarily high credit limits as opposed to what you'd find on your personal credit. It's not uncommon to have business credit cards that have 20, 50, 70, 100, $200,000 limits. You'll hardly ever find that on the personal side of credit. A business credit card can actually help you budget as well. It'll help with this idea of commingling of funds. And if you've been in business for a short time or a long time, you've probably heard this from your CPA or from your tax advisor. Do not mix business and personal together. Business credit cards help extraordinarily well in these types of situations because you're only gonna use business for business expenses and you're only gonna use personal for personal expenses. So a business credit card is gonna give you an opportunity to build your business credit on the business side organically and over time. What I like most about business credit cards is that they come with tremendous perks. Every year I get rewards in the thousands and sometimes tens of thousands of dollars for my business credit cards. Because every time I spend money and put items on my business credit, I get a point or a dollar or three points depending upon the category of spending. There's all kinds of perks that come with using a business credit card. In fact, the perks are in some cases so good that it would never make sense to either use cash or use a debit card from your business checking account. In fact, doing those things would actually cost you money because the perks are so significant on the business credit card side of things. We've talked about the pros of having a business credit card. Now we're going to get into the cons of having business credit cards. And we're going to also talk about what business credit cards do not report to personal credit. But before we do that, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, one of the biggest cons I've found 
uh, with business credit is that they do require a personal guarantee. Early on, when I was telling you about my $40,000 credit card that I got, and I talked to you a little bit about them going off my personal credit, almost all financial institutions are gonna require, uh, in order for them to give you a high limit business credit card that you personally guarantee. And what that means is, is that you have to sign your name in blood. That means if something happens to where I can't pay that $40,000 credit card back, they can come after my personal assets. Now, this is commonplace. You'll see all over the internet. Well, they'll tell you that you can get business credit cards with substantial limits and there is no personal guarantee. The reality is, is that if you want a credit card from a major financial institution with a significant limit, I don't care if your small business does $50 million a year in sales, they're gonna want you to personally guarantee that, and that's just the way it works. Another negative of having a business credit card besides having to place a personal guarantee is what small business owners sometimes do in order to kind of hoard cash. What they'll do is they'll overutilize their credit cards and hang on to that cash even when it's maybe not necessary. Just remember, even though business credit cards may have lower APRs than credit cards on your personal credit in some cases, remember there is a cost to putting things on your credit card. Saving money unnecessarily so that you can have it in your account doesn't necessarily make sense. And so the final question is, is where can I get a business credit card that does not report to my personal credit? As far as I've seen, and I did extensive research on this, this issue where business credit reports to your personal credit is no longer a thing. I know Capital One for a while would report your business credit to your personal credit, but here's the way that it's worked in the last year or two. All business credit reports to your business credit only. The only reason that'll report to your personal credit is if you miss a payment or you stop paying them. So think about that for a minute. If you have a high limit credit card, let's say a $50,000 business credit card, it's only gonna report to your business credit. Now let's say you max out that credit card out and you miss a late payment, now it gets shifted to your personal situation. It'll show on both at that point. Now that could be a big problem on your personal side because it can throw all kinds of things out of whack in terms of utilization, in terms of negative pay uh, history and derogatories. I actually had a client who I was working with where just started to work with us and within a month he had literally got $150,000 worth of charge-offs on his credit profile. The person that I was working with had several different businesses and one of them actually went under because of COVID. Those lenders that gave him money to buy that kitchen equipment were coming after him and since it went into negative status, they put it on his personal credit. If you've been denied business credit, it's probably because your personal credit needs some work. 